Hey tech enthusiasts! Welcome back to Vast Cabling. If you are new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and click the bell icon to stay updated with our latest tech tips and tutorial. Today, we have an exciting and informative video for you. A step-by-step -step guide to installing an RS-232, 422, and 485 to fiber converter. So let's dive in. So first, Here's a brief explanation of the different serial connection standard. RS-232 is the most common serial communication standard used for short distance communication, and it uses single-ended signaling. RS-422 support higher data rates and longer distances than RS-232. It uses differentiated signaling, which reduces noise and RS-485 is similar to RS-422 but support multiple devices on the same bus and making it ideal for industrial networks. So now what exactly is an RS-232, 422 and 485 to fiber converter? Essentially, it is a device that allows you to convert serial data signal, which are typically transmitted over copper wires, and into optical signal transmitted over fiber optic cables. Now this conversion is crucial in applications where long distance communication, high speed data transfer, and resistance to interference are essential. The RS-232, 422, and 485 to fiber converter also minimizes data loss and improves network security, which makes it ideal for various industrials such as industrial automation, ITs, and security systems. So now let's talk about the benefits of using a fiber converter for industrial applications. Fiber optic cables can transmit data over much longer distances, up to kilometers, compared to the traditional copper wires without signal degradation. And fiber optics support higher bandwidth, allowing for faster data transmission. Unlike copper cables, fiber optics are immune to electromagnetic interference, so making them ideal for environments with heavy machinery and electronic noise and data transmitted over fiber optic cables is much harder to tap into, providing a more secure communication channel. So here we have our RS-232, 422, and 45 to fiber converter. Let's take a detailed look at the components included and the ports available on this device. So on this panel, we have the serial port. This can be configured for RS-232, 422, and RS-485 connection. Over this side, we have the fiber optic port, where you will connect your fiber optic cable. And the power supply connector is where you power the device. We also have LED indicated lights to provide status information for power, data transmission, and fiber link status. And the key features of our converter include convert serial signal to optical signal, ensuring long distance data transfer in industrial setting, support a maximum distance of 20 kilometers over single mole fiber, and 4 kilometers over multi mole fiber. And it has IP30 racket enclosure, built in surge protection and the working temperature ranges from minus 40 degrees up to 85 degrees, which is suitable for industrial environment. So next, let's get into the installation process. And here's a list of tools and materials that you need. Our RS-232, 422, and 485 to fiber converter, a row of pre-made fiber optic cables, and also serial cables, power supply, screwdrivers, and some cable management tools. And before we get started, it is important to understand the types of fiber optic cables. Here we have the single mole fiber optic cable and we have multi mole fiber optic cables. Now single mole fiber has a smaller core and is designed for long distance communication. It uses a laser as a light source. And mountain mole fiber has a larger core and is typically used for shorter distances. It uses an LED as a light source. 
And for industrial applications, single mole fiber is often preferred due to its ability to transmit data over much longer distance for future proving. So now we're in front of the demonstration board and behind us we have everything we'll need for the setup. So now let's walk through our step-by-step -step installation guide. First, we'll need a computer and our fiber optic converter. We're going to connect the COM port directly to our converter. We have positive and negative. Let's plug it in. And use a screwdriver to secure our connection to prevent them coming loose. So here we go. Next, we are going to connect our fiber optic cable, but first let me give you some tips. We have to carefully insert the fiber optic cable into the port until you hear a click sound and ensure the connector is secure. You can also use zip tie to manage your fiber optic cable and prevent it from bending excessively. And I always handle the fiber optic cables with care to avoid bending them sharply and keep the connectors clean to ensure optimal performance. Today we are using this two-string 300 meters fiber optic cable, although the distance between our converters can be up to 4,000 meters. So since we have two string, we are going to use string one. And let's plug it into the port. And we already hear the click sound. Next, let's power up our converter on this side. We can see all the indicated lights are on. And coming over here, we are going to do the exact same thing. Plug in our string one fiber optic cable to our converter. And over here, we have our serial device. We have to identify the correct serial port on our converter and then connect your serial cable to our converter. So we have the power serial cable. Again, positive and negative. And secure them with a screwdriver. Then we have the data, also positive and negative. So it's done. And next, we are going to power up our converter and configure it. by plug it into an outlet and we can check the LED indicators to ensure the device is power and functioning correctly. So next, we are going to use the configuration software with our converter to set our serial communication. So now we already opened up our configuration software. This software allows you to view the real-time data. And here we have the serial port. We have to select the port number, which is COM number two. And then we can hit open serial. Hit on the real-time data and update. Here we go. So now we already have all the data from our serial sensor, the temperature, humidity, and pressure. And before we wrap up, here are some additional tips for a successful installation. Ensure the converter is securely mounted to prevent it from moving or vibrating. And also place the converter in a location with a stable temperature and low humidity. And also you should ground the converter properly to prevent electrical interference. And also implement physical and network security measure to protect your data transmission. And there you have it, a complete guide to installing an RS-232, 422, or 485 to fiber converter. And if you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up 
and also share it with your fellow tech enthusiasts. And don't forget to subscribe for more tech tutorial and reviews. Now, thank you very much for joining us at Fast Cabling, and I'll see you in the next video.